hello so today I thought we'd do something a little bit different I knew people have been doing the normal uh, blacklist cards and the iconic cards but this time we do something different so we're going to build as you know by the title a drift car but the difference is it's front wheel drive so we're going to have a choice of the Honda I've already got that the Acura and the Golf we've built the other two so we're building the Acura so first what I think we'll do is we'll fully upgrade it since that's the best thing to do first. We want drift ties since this is a drift setup. Right, fully upgraded, we are making 892 horsepower, top speed of 233 miles an hour, quarter mile time of 9.26 at 162 miles an hour, and 060 in 2.36 seconds in a Honda. So now we'll upgrade it. I'm not going to go with the body kit, don't like it that much, so I think we'll go with the standard tunics then. The front bumper we're going to stick with the stock bumper and just add a splitter and front canards I think it's pronounced I'm not sure go with these and now stance tuning since the drift car lower it all the way widen the front wheels out all the way leave the back wheels just slightly wider and plenty of front camber and rear we'll leave it normal and fancy rims, we need some rims. Probably going to look horrible, but we're going to put on some 1552 tarmacs and fully widen them out. And same on the back, 1552 tarmacs, fully widened. Oh, look at that. Not bad, in all fairness. Uh, for the tune, drift build, so full. Sponsor leave it there, fall again, brake to drift on since it's a front wheel drive, drift stability off, motor control leave that off, the diff will fully lock that, downforce we want slightly, mm, slightly less downforce, brake strength we want less so it doesn't lose too much speed in the corners, brake bias I prefer it to the rear, I use handbrake to drift normally, handbrake as weak as possible, springs slightly stiff, Fully by slightly stiff and NOS all the way to power. Now, with my wraps, I always try to make my own, but for the purpose of the video, I think we're just going to have to find one. And this trending one looks really nice actually. I see why it's top and trending. The second most popular uh, wrap here is uh, Brian's design for his Eclipse in the first film, the first car you see. I see what the me and the R but the front wheel drive, but you know, not what we're looking for. I am really liking this design. Agro Smith, 15th in trending. It's more of a race car design, but I am really liking that. It fits with the wheels well, so I'm going to use this. And tyres as usual, Falcon regulars. And calipers, apparently it's got Brembo standards. That's surprising. So we'll leave them. Right, so the design is done. Here it is, almost 900 horsepower front wheel drive drift car. So we'll take it out and see how it handles. Alright, here we go, let's see how this thing sounds. That's nice. Front wheel drive, obviously, so. Right, let's do ready, set, drift. I'm rolling backwards. Here we go. Oh, great start. I 
actually drift pretty well, so it's a front wheel drive, I mean. Obviously it's not as good as some of the other rear wheel drive cars. Ooh. All right, still saying it's not as good as some of the rear wheel drive cars. I think we'll do another one where you don't need to stick with people, so we can speed up a little bit. Oh, hello. I think when it's front wheel drive cars, it's not exactly classy as drifting. Seems obviously, when you send parts of the rear wheels to drift, it seems just skidding into it. Right, I think we'll have another go with a mission. A new personal best, apparently, the front wheel drive. Here's the one clamping down. Right, here we go, so we don't stick with anyone this time, we can just use a lot of 900 horsepower to the front wheels. Sounds like a really bad idea in real life. Look at the thing, well, like I hit me, I was about to say, look at the thing there, it just drifts so well. And on corner, you can't really, on straight, you can't really chain. Wow. Thank you. But I think you get a lot more points because of the angle you get. Yeah, this is, the weak camera is really helpful, but strong, it's been out too much. Because I'm relying a lot on the handbrake in this. Try just braking. It kind of gets sideways, but not as easy. There we go. First place, 180,000. Almost. In a front wheel drive. So this is just something a little bit different to my usual videos on Need for Speed. Hopefully I'll try this car some speed list and I may film it. I may get a friend to join me as well. So if you did if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.